This is Drymaeus multilineatus, also known as the lined tree snail, and these are pretty common on Sanibel Island in Florida. Drymaeus multilineatus is one out of three Drymaeus species that are found in Florida. It's related to the Florida tree snail Liguus fasciatus, but it doesn't grow nearly as large. The shell of a mature Drymaeus multilineatus will only reach a little over one inch in length, and there is only one color form in this species. The lined tree snail has a diet similar to Liguus, which consists of algae, lichen, and fungi that are eaten off of tree bark, but this species will also eat a fruit and vegetable smoothie mix in captivity as well, and you may have seen these in my previous video called How to Feed Tree Snails. None of the Drymaeus found in Florida are endangered, and because they're also not an agricultural pest, they can be transported across state lines. And I have a few of them in a terrarium, and I tested out a few different setups to see what they would be able to survive in. My initial setup was not much different than a standard snail terrarium setup, but I figured they would need a higher humidity since they weren't doing so well, and I used a plastic lid with only a few small air holes in it. It was about 90% humidity and they weren't doing any better in this setup, so I switched back to a wire mesh lid and I bought a UV light bulb from the pet store. After they were under the UV light for about two days, they quickly regained their health, so it seems like the UV light is essential for this species. Drymaeus multilineatus can be found in southern Florida from Fort Myers over to Miami, but they're not very common. And the snails that were in this video were found on Sanibel Island, all in the same tree, about 60 feet from the beach.